and the song you just checked out is titled Baby by Joe Boy on your number one Light Star Station, City 1051. Earlier on the show, I told you that Joe Boy was going to join me on the show. And if you have a question for him, all you have to do is leave it on WhatsApp 0909-916-4403 and on Twitter at City 1051 or at Melody underscore Hassan. And guess what? I've been getting messages already. Some are really funny and some are cool. But don't worry, keep all the questions coming in. According to Joe Boy, he's modern capable. You know, he can answer all your questions. How you doing, Joe Boy? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Happy to be here again. Yes, again and again and, and again. again. <laughs> How many times have we done this now, Joe Boy? I think I think it's the third or fourth time. Okay. So the yeah. first time. Let's start from the beginning. The, the first, first time. time. Mm-hmm. First time I was with Easy. Yeah. For I think it was Fadji. No, no, I, no, before then. But you, went, you didn't interview me that okay. day. I just came with Easy. Yes, the yes, time. yes. The first time. First time. And second time was for Fadji. Uh-huh. The third time was after I dropped Baby. She was actually the first person to, to interview me. So make some noise. Some melody. Ah. Make some noise. So, yeah, she, Melody has been really supportive. Um, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for saying that. You know, the funny thing is, you know, from the get-go, I've always been like... Joe Boy, like, oh, this guy is good. I like this song, Faji. The first time I heard Faji, I was like, yeah. nah, I'm going to jam this song. And of course, I'm going to have, you know, the artist with me. And I did just that. And see you years after Faji and our first interview. You're doing really good. Yeah, the first yeah, night, the yeah. first night I noticed when Joe Boy came, I'm like, I, I see your tattoo. <laughs> it's just one. <laughs> uh, but uh, see the, see the bling bling. It's not bling Joe no. Boy be yeah. looking all peng and stuff. Okay, it's okay. I see the growth. And of course, definitely, we see the growth in your music too. Yeah. Um, so from Faji, you gave us Love and Light, the EP. Yeah. And you dropped another song um, Lonely. titled Lonely. Yeah. So let's start from, where do we even start from? <laughs> let's start from Love and Light, the EP. Yeah. So um, I know when you dropped Love and Light, the EP, people, yeah. a lot of people, you know, you came with mixed reactions. Yeah. People were like, oh, Joe Boy, why did you give us previously mm. dropped songs and mm. all of that? Why didn't you just give us fresh songs? What informed that decision? Why did you decide yeah. to play with our hearts so, like so that? So one of the reasons was, I remember when I dropped Baby, Mm-hmm. Like people didn't really know my face, and to be honest, people didn't really know 100% who mm-hmm. sang that song. Mm-hmm. So, Easy was like, Yo, let's make a project that embodies all that. Mm-hmm. And it was just, I dropped like, it was a five track EP. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was, it was three new songs, three new songs. But one of the singles dropped a week before the EP. So, was two released. new songs, don't do that. No, it's Wait. three new songs. It's Wait, three new songs, mm. and before you dropped the EP, you dropped one out of that three, so, uh, out yeah. of the three songs. Then I dropped the remaining two songs the next week. That is. Three old like, songs and two new and songs. No, yeah, but but I I totally understand how mm-hmm. some people felt about that about uh, uh, this already like half of it was already releasing. Yeah, but I just want people to, wanted people to know that okay. This is Joe Boy. This is guy that sang Baby, mm-hmm. that sang Beginning, that sang mm-hmm. Don't Call Me Back. And yeah. the funny thing is, I can I can testify to the fact that when you were getting all that drags on social media, you yeah. handled it very well. Yeah, like you did gracefully. You came out, you explained, and you said, you know what? I'm going to give you another body of work. Just mm. hold on to this one. Yeah. But months after, you've not given us that body of work. What's Corona. going on, Joe Boy? So are you saying that you had plans to drop the EP before Corona? I had plans. I have plans to drop an album. I had plans. My album was an album. Yes, the album was supposed to drop October 30. October 30. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then there was the issue like that affected everyone now. And SARS. Mm-hmm. And SARS. So I had to push forward. Let me tell you something. You just played yourself by mentioning that you had plans to drop uh, you know, your album October 30. Because yeah. now you have to give me the scoop. Yeah. How many songs are going to be on the album, Joe Boy? We have like 12, 12 or 13 songs. 13 Wait, songs. I hope it's an exclusive, Joe Boy. It is an exclusive, actually. This Yay! first piece I'm saying I was supposed to drop it on 30. Okay, yeah. so now from the get go, you're supposed to drop an album October 30. Yeah. But you didn't drop that. Yeah. How many songs are um, going to be on the EP? On the album. On 12. the album, sorry. 12. 12. Title of the album? Ah, no. Uh-uh, <laughs> Joe Boy, you were really hyping no, me. No, no, no. Give me exclusive. No. <laughs> okay, so when, when is it um, dropping now? Hmm? Very soon, very soon. I need you to don't have a new date? I don't have a new date yet. I'm still watching. Still watching what precisely? Yeah, but definitely a single, then the album. Like so, so after the next single I put out is the album straight up. So after okay, so this album is it gonna come this year or next year? Chuba, tell me something now. Okay, latest, latest. It could be January. Latest. Latest January. It could be January. Yeah. Okay, but but we're getting an album. Definitely. Get an album. Yeah. Okay, so before that album. You're going to drop one single. Yeah, one Are more you single. you going to tell us what that single is going to be called? Yeah, the single is titled Celebration. Ah, so your yeah. next single is titled Celebration. Yeah, Celebration when is for that the one good dropping? things that about to come. It's dropping um, towards the end of this month, November. Towards the end of um, yeah. November. Any yeah. precise date? 
I can't say. Okay, well, November, <laughs> celebration yeah. is dropping. Yeah. Okay, Joe Boy, thank you for that one. Um, So, of course, you spoke about wanting to drop your body of work. Yeah. That is... um. The, the album you didn't drop because of you know everything happening in the yeah. world and everything now take, uh, you know talking about everything happening in the world yeah has that affected you as an artist in any way has it changed you as a person that's as joe boy the uh what's your what's your, what's your full name that's, that's not joe boy um joseph uh-huh, as joseph yeah and also how has it affected you as joe boy um how has it affected me as joe boy um well it's been it's been a, it's been a crazy year the fact that it's been indoors for like for like months months mm. was kind of ac- affecting my creativity at oh, some point boost it. it did not it, it was after I, like i found a way around because i get i get most of my most of my lyrics from experiences okay so when you are stuck in your room or the four walls of your house there's not really much experience anyways okay yeah so so i, was, I started watching movies and that kind of helped yeah yeah but you already you already had the album before you know before everything that we had to do with yeah yeah but as an artist you have to keep recording Recording. oh regardless yeah regardless regardless so how did uh, or better still how has everything affected you as joseph not as joe boy as joseph oh it's just been a really boring year for joseph (laughs) are you a fun person normally joe boy i really see i uh, see that's you know so sharp i don't (laughs) like i'll be honest but i think i'll I'll start doing better i don't like posting (coughs) i don't like posting too much on social media so, like my guys always have fucks together. Yeah, guy posts this thing. <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, like I don't like posting stuff on social media. Okay. It's not like it's not the natural me. Okay. But when I'm in my space, uh, I'm a cool guy. Okay. But do you go out? Do you do you like to socialize? You yeah, like I go out. Okay. I go out. Mm-hmm. I won't say I love to meet a lot of people, but mm-hmm. I go out. Okay. Yeah. So now your song Lonely. Yep. I know that you said that you you um, most of your songs come from experiences and yeah. everything now. I know that the one that you had me or come on it. I read an interview where you said that oh, um, some girl texted you and said you're um, you're beginning to begin to make me angry. So yeah, that, that was that was beginning. That was beginning. That was sorry. Beginning. Then you so that kind of you know that helped slang. you. That slang helped you to create the song beginning and you use that you're beginning to begin. So yeah. for this song lonely, what 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 initiated or what what made you create that song? Yeah. So so I remember I wrote the song w- during the lockdown actually. Mm-hmm. I did so. That was like a lonely period for for most people. Ah, because, yes, so because that's some real life stuff. Yeah, real life stuff. That's some real life stuff. That's some real life stuff. Okay, so since you're not going to tell us the title of this, your body of work, yeah. should we expect any feature? Yeah, you should. Are you going to tell us who? You should. You <laughs> may or you may not. But which is twelve tracks? So of course, are you going to be just Joe Boy on it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe like different versions of Joe Boy now. That people have not heard. Okay, so tell us something about Joe Boy. Speaking about different versions of Joe Boy, tell yeah. us something about just um, about um, Joe Boy that we probably do not know. Something surprising that people will be really shocked to know. Hmm, something I don't know if it's surprising, Shah Boy, mm-hmm. but hmm, they play video games well, like well, well. well you can come and bet your money. PlayStation. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, FIFA. FIFA. UFC. Uh-huh. Wrestling. Anyone. Anyone. Anyone, man. Okay, so how has the evolving been for you from the guy who mm. defied you to the guy Lonely? I know that 2019 was an amazing year for yeah. you. Your songs, Baby and Beginning, did amazing numbers, yeah. you know, around the world. I'm sure you were you were taken aback by the reception you got, or weren't you? Yeah, I was. I, was, I wasn't I was expecting it to be that big, to be honest, because at that point, I didn't think <laughs> we knew what we were doing. We were just, like, putting out music. It wasn't like... Was there any strategy? There was no strategy. Hmm. It's just like okay, put out music and promote it the best way you can. Do um, radio tours, um, social media, and it just kept blowing beyond what we expected. So you know how they always say stuff like, oh, so for an artist to be big or to blow yeah. or to achieve some sort of stardom in Nigeria or around the world, you need to have, you need to be able to do certain things. You know, you need to do this, you need to do that. You know, there's there's this there's this way you have to go about your marketing as an artist wow. and all of that. What do you have to say about but that? T- to be honest, using I'll, your I'll experience, Joe yeah. Boy, do you think that's how it is, or sometimes it's just grace? No, there what, some, what worked for you? There are some basics. Then, firstly, what worked for me is um, good music, grace, hmm. good music, grace. So yeah. no strategy. There's always one little strategy, but it's not like it's so defined because the way the market is, you have to be flexible. You can't just stick to one plan and say, "Ah, this is I want it to be." Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so um. You're currently signed to a record label or not? No, I'm with I'm in partnership with Empower. Empower, you're still in that partnership yeah. with Empower. Okay, okay. So, Joe Boy, let's let's take this more, more personal. <laughs> when you're oh, yeah. not singing and when you're not playing video games, what yeah. are you doing? What am I doing? I'm probably writing. So that means you don't do anything fun. Do anything fun? Video games is fun now. Going out, like I go out to the beach too. I don't like I don't like club parties. I like house parties though. House yeah. parties, yeah. personal parties. Yeah, personal that. parties. I don't like clubs. 
Okay. Yes. So as an artist, what is the most difficult thing you've had to deal with? What is the most shocking thing for you about stardom that you that you, you know you've experienced? You're like, why? How? How? Mm, the most shocking thing. The most shocking thing. Uh, okay. The fact that it gets stressful sometimes and it's not always usually fun. It's not fun. To it's be not always fun. What's not fun about it? Tell me the part that's not fun. Sometimes you might be down. Huh? You might be down and maybe you're out somewhere and people really need to take pictures. Okay, and you're like, okay, just one picture. Then you take one. Then someone else comes. Then. Then you have to keep How do you deal with that? I have to keep looking like live <laughs> your else to, to, to look See, you're not so. happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, that's just it for me. You might not be in the mood all the time. Yeah. But you still have to do what you have to you do. You have to do what I have to do now. I, I love, like, one thing I love is I love making music. So. You love making music. Yeah. I know that when you started your music career yeah. and you started getting all the popularity, one thing people kept complaining about is, oh, we don't, we don't see enough of Joe Boy. Yeah, left to me. His face is left not to me. Here. Honestly, left His to me. His face is not there. He's not social. How did yeah. you handle all left that? Left to me, I would have preferred like preferred um, div- just visualizers, no videos. Yeah. So you didn't want your face out there. I didn't like. I didn't want it to be honest. To be honest, like I just wanted my music out. Okay, let them know the name Joe Boy. But they shouldn't know. No one should know who the artist if is. If it was left to me, I would do that. Yeah. So like on some language like, stuff. To be honest. That's what you wanted to do. That's so why did you change your mind? Easy. <laughs> Easy, like, 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 no, that you have to show your face. Why didn't you want to show your face? I don't know. I don't know. It's just the mic thing. I love making music. You don't like the popularity that comes with making music? Yeah. You don't Stress. Like the pop- it's but, but for your song to be a hit, you have to, you know, be ready for it. So, <laughs> here's my face. <laughs> Here is my face. Okay. So, I'm sure that entire, com- uh, you know, conversation at the time, did it affect you mentally no, in any not way? No, not like... I've learned to like separate it from my personal self. Mm-hmm. Like, it's Joe Boy, there's Joe Boy, and there's Joseph. The fact mm-hmm. that people say or criticize doesn't mean that they hate you. Mm-hmm. They're just saying how they feel concerning Joe Boy. So I've learned to separate it. How so I don't take it personal. You don't take it personal. Yeah. How has 2020 been for you as an artist? Some uh, people say that, oh, for because of the lockdown, they've been able to create more yeah. and they've been able to um, do better music. Yeah. The lyrics, of course, now people are more intentional. Yeah. People are not bothered about trying to give us, you know, club bangers. Now we're really hearing people give us, like, songs and give us, like, good lyrics. Yeah. How has that affected you as a person? Um, You've always been giving us good lyrics, but that's, that's just, yeah. How mm, how is that? I think I've been more experimental. I think from that album, like, people will understand how positive, positively it has affected me. Positively from that body of work that you yeah. don't tell us the title? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, after you drop the body of work, you're going to come back again to yeah, break definitely. it down. So who are the producers you, you worked with on that body um, of work? Okay. A lot. Um, we have um, Beats by Kill, Temple, MOG from Ghana, Killer Tunes, Dera the Boy, Dera the Boy, um, Waken, 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 Waken. There's one more person. Taipei. Yeah. So when you want to create, when you want to like be in your creative space, what yeah. do you do to enter that space? People do different things, especially artists. Don't lie to um, me. Yeah. Joe Boy. The lie. thing I love to record at night when mm-hmm. everywhere is quiet. I think when everywhere is calm, mm-hmm. it's easier for me to create. Yeah. So what do you do to be in what that What do space? I do? How <laughs> I do you ginger <laughs> yourself? I listen to the beats now when I write. Do boy. <laughs> Is it that? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a bit of wine. So just, just, uh-huh. a bit, just a little You're bit. You're coming out slowly. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Mm. That's it. Red wine or white wine? Red. Red wine. Okay. Red. <laughs> so in 2020, aside from your song, yeah. what are your favorite projects? My favorite projects? I love Burner Boys. I love Burner Boys. Um, I'm enjoying with his own too. Mm-hmm. Um, Fire Boys too. Fire Boys. Yeah. So if you could then swap, they, uh, then there's this guy. His name is Kemena. Yes, Kimena. Yes, Kimena. Like that, Kimena that, too. That album is beautiful. That album yeah. is beautiful. Okay, so you could, if you could swap life with one celebrity, mm. who's that celebrity you swap life with? From Nigeria. Yeah, from Nigeria. Does he have to be from Nigeria? Yeah. Ah. Okay, <laughs> outside Nigeria. <laughs> outside Nigeria, but I could swap with maybe Isa Brocky. I like Isa Brocky. Yeah. Why is that okay? It's not just about music. I just like his lifestyle. His lifestyle. Mm. Okay. So what song in 2020 did you hear and you were like, I wish I wrote that song? What song in 2020? What song? Let me see. Hop in my Maserati. Oh, like your ass, Maserati. Yeah. You wish you wrote that song? Yeah. Why? I know the song is beautiful now. Okay. And, and they smash it, so. So you really, is that why? Or you like the song? Is it the, the fact that the song is a hit song or because you like the song? I like the song and like the song, song is a hit song. So you wish you wrote it in my Maserati? Yeah. Oh, like Kira, come and give Joe Boy the song. <laughs> 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 or should we be expecting you to jump on a remix? Of that song? Mm. No, I, th- I think I think 
um yeah. the one they do is yeah, it's, it's okay it's, it's good okay. enough yeah. so uh, any any collaboration from joe boy in 2020 any collaboration me featuring somebody or somebody someone featuring, featuring you I've, I've had a lot this year any new one do you any new one um it's, it's um there's one with diamond Oh. There's one with Diamond. Okay. There's one with Nandi. She's she's one of the biggest female artists from East Africa. Mm-hmm. Then there's Chrissy Arthur and there's Art Bees, there's Kick Promise. Okay, so someone said, My name is Richard. Please help me ask Joe Boy when the album is dropping. I already did. He said before the end of the year or at most January. Mm-hmm. Um Joe Boy, if you could change one thing in the music industry, what would it be? If I could change one thing in the music what industry. What don't you like the most about the music industry? Mm. What don't you like? The one thing you don't like about the industry? Hmm, let me see. <laughs> I think... <laughs> what don't I like, Seth? Okay, I, I think it's the sound. <laughs> like the sound when it comes to shows. The sound? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the sound. <laughs> when you go perform at shows? Yeah. Sometimes it's just frustrating. I can't lie. So how does it work when you go for these shows? I Don't you go for... Um, yeah, you go for mic check. It, mic sounds, check. it sounds good when you go for mic mm. check. Then you will stay next to you hear yourself, or maybe you hear yourself two seconds after you speak. So, how do you manage that? Have you ever been in such a situation where you are performing I've been, and you I've hit been, I've, I've been in that situation countless times, but you just have to like. How do you handle it? Do you complain to the? No, if you complain, it's going to kill the vibe of people watching. So no, I mean, do you complain to the event planner afterwards? After, yeah, yeah. so I was sort of, um, I'm sorry about that, but never happens. So it yeah. happens every time. The sound you should um, pay um, attention. Um, not every almost time, every like time. Almost actually. every time. Yeah. Okay. So, so what is your favorite thing about the industry? My favorite thing about the industry. Favorite thing about the industry. Hmm. Favorite thing about the industry. Maybe, maybe, maybe the fact that the fact that you make money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you make money. Yeah. Nah. Okay, so what's the most surprising thing anyone has ever said to you? And you, you saw it on social media and it's like, oh, Joe Boy did this. And you're like, well, that's not even me. Like, the biggest lie you've ever heard. Okay, I think, I think, ah, what was it said? I think it was in Kenya. Mm-hmm, someone was, said what? It was in Kenya. It was actually like um, a radio a radio host. So the thing was, I was supposed to go for an interview. Mm-hmm. They told the promoters, but the promoters ignored them. And took me to another radio station. So the radio station called me out that yo, Joe Boy, you're supposed to meet us at this place. I decided to ignore us after we told you. I'm like, nobody told me anything. And it was really it was really bad. I had to like I had to like do damage control because like, ah, we're cancelling Joe Boy. What country? Kenya. So how did you handle it? Did you go yeah. to the radio station? No, I did I, I could not I could not make it that day. So I just like put out I sent them a DM message that yo, I didn't know about about it. I'm sorry, it's probably promoters. I didn't tell me. Yeah. Oh. And they took it down. Did they? I didn't check to see they took it down. You've actually not been in uh, you know scandals. How do you manage that? Um, you know, I always I do always do my deal. <laughs> you avoid scandals. I always do my deal. I I don't think I don't think I need it. Though some some do it intentionally, mm-hmm. but I don't think I need scandals. What do you think about you know people artists intentionally creating drama and scandals to yeah. promote their music or promote? Their yeah, music? I I feel like when it comes to like promoting yourself, whatever you need to do, as long as it's not a crime and it's. I don't know about morality, but as long as it's not a crime, do what you have to do. But you won't do it. I won't do it. Why won't you do it? I, I don't. I don't need to do it. Hmm. Okay. So before we wrap this up, what? Give us any backstory about the body of work you're about to drop. Uh, backstory. Inspiration. Anything? Inspiration. Yeah, inspiration. Basically, like I said, my experiences. Hmm. Um, love, love, more of my experiences. Love, love. Why you take that back? Hmm? I said love. Then more of my experiences too. Oh, so the album is filled with love stories. You sing about so love a lot, Joe Boy. Yes, because I love love. Don't you love love? This is not about me, it's about you. Let's go back to you. You <laughs> sing about love a lot, Joe Boy. Yeah, I do. Why do you sing about love a lot? Because that is what I can relate to personally. And because you love Most love. Yeah. Are you in love? No. Uh, when was the last time you were in love? Am I in love? Right now. Right now. No, I'm not. When was the last time you were in love? Probably early this year. But can I even Early call, this can year? I, can, can I even call it love? Wait. The fact that you like somebody doesn't mean it's love. Were you guys in? L- I don't know. I didn't experience it. Were you guys in love? Were we in love? I don't think so. Were you guys dating? No. What were you doing? We're just entanglements. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So, was it exclusive? Were you guys? Was it exclusive? It was. It was. It was an excellent. Then it ended after how many days? 
which I ended. I don't know if that, I don't want to say how many days, but I know it ended. Because you're a celebrity, you couldn't manage it. Because you had too many girls in your DM. Joe, but you're proud. Is that why? No, that's that's not why. I just okay. felt, I just felt, I just felt I won't be ready to be so committed to it. Because you just like your career, you need all the girls in that attention. Yeah, maybe. And I didn't, I didn't want to waste that time. Oh, yeah. so the Don't Call Me Back song, Don't Call Me Back, yeah. uh, that No, no, Don't Call Me Back was was before this year. Yeah, but did you, was, did she have anything to do with that? No, not, not, not. Uh, so who were you asking I'm, not to call you back? Um, uh, a lot of people. A lot of girls? A lot. What's happening in your DMs? <laughs> a lot. Can we take a stroll into your DMs? No, at all. Why? Why? <laughs> Okay, let's just see the first message in your DM. First message in my DM. Fe- no, I have to check it. You check it, son. The first wow. one. We're checking. Ah, he has like how many messages? Oh, lola. oh no! That one, this is just people reposting your stuff. And the first personal message, oh, boy, first don't scam me. I ah, can't show you that. <laughs> what, what do you get in your DM? Do you get news in your DM? Mm, no, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Ah! I, I like uh, no, I, I'm not even a fan of that. Like, don't don't send me news. That's just. Did you hear? Like, don't don't even send me news. Just shoot your shots in peace. So you're asking people to shoot your shoot your shot. Are yeah, you open if, to if that? you if you want to shoot your shot, shoot your shot. But don't send me news. What's please. the best way to get to your heart, Joe boy? As the lover of love. Mm. Shoes. So they should buy you shoes. Buy me shoes, yeah. Buy you shoes. So sh- shoes like what? Your love language. Like, yeah, yeah, I love shoes a lot. Okay, so you had Joe Boy. If you want to shoot your shirts, buy him shoes. His body of work is dropping in November. He has not told us the title of the body of work, but he's got 12 tracks on it. And the next single dropping from Joe Boy is titled Celebration. And what else? Down, that's dropping in November, right? Yeah. Any other exclusive? Any artists you featured on it? No. You want to tell us one? No. I'm sure Mr. Easy is going to be there. It's not there, actually. No, Mr. Easy? No. How has he been working with Mr. Easy? Oh, it's been... It's been, it's been Enlightening. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been learning a lot. You've been learning a lot. So if you could do it, you'll do that again. Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, thank you so much, Joe Boy, for coming through. Thank you for it was having, so me nice having me and putting me on the odd seats. <laughs> what odd <laughs> seat did I put you on? I love this song, Lonely. I, you know, thank the you. fact that the first time I heard this song, um, the first time I heard the Lonely song, I'm like, ah. Oh. We're not going to get the vibe of this song right now because of everything mm, happening. And yeah, like, yeah. I really hope that when we're done with the, you know, camp- the NSAS protest yeah. and you know everything happening in the world, even though that's still you know ongoing as it should be, um, I'm like I really hope people find out the amazing, yeah. this amazing song, "Lonely." It's a beautiful song. How do you feel that people constantly say Joe Boy is a hit maker? And people mm. does it put pressure on you that every time you're about to drop a song, people say stuff like, "I'm sure this song is going to be a hit song." No, 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 no pressure, no pressure. But you're but you're you're, well, you're like, okay with being known as a hit maker. Yeah, yeah, that that is like that's like a beautiful tag, like mm-hmm. say, hit maker. Makes makes me. Makes Does it me make wo- you nervous? No, it makes me work harder. Makes you work harder. Yeah. Doesn't put you in a space where you feel like, what if I can't meet up? No, at the end of the day, you just have to do what you have to do, and make sure that even if whatever happens, you mm-hmm. did everything you could to mm-hmm. make sure that it went well. What do you think about collaboration? Because I know when you dropped your Love and Light EP, yeah. aside from the Mayor, um, aside from you know collaborating with Mayor, people saying stuff like, "Oh, Joe Boy rarely ever collaborate with other artists." Is that intentional? No, that that wasn't in at that point. I, need, I like last year. I didn't think there was a, there was a need to, but I worked with a lot of people this year. Yeah, um, I mean for your body of work. My body of work. I think I think I don't want people to like feel like just yeah, Joe, Joe Boy. Boy yeah. Okay, Joe Boy, thank you so much for coming through and playing the thank song you. Lonely. I hope you all fall in love with it. Uh, somebody said you didn't ask my question. Okay, let's ask the question before <coughs> he goes. My question for Joe Boy, will, oh, this is the question. Will you go out with me? Yes, I can go out. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bad demon. <laughs> <laughs> you can go out, so. yeah, You don't even know the name. You don't know the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> To go out, to go out. Yeah, to to go out. I hope you intend to have um, another jollof with Joe Boy. You had it yes. in an intimate thing, you know. Yeah, around February, but I, you know I, it was something I was supposed to be doing every month, but Corona. I'm side eyeing you for that one because you know, didn't invite me, but it's okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send a special <laughs> invite for the next one. Okay, Joe Boy, lonely playing next on City 1051. It was so nice having you. Stay right here. Music is coming through in less than 10 minutes. After news, of course, I'll be back to play you more music. And yeah, have a conversation with you. My name is Melody.